Welcome to the introductory video for the Image Grabber Windows Store app. My name is Robert and I built this app. The purpose of this app is very simple. There are images on the internet and I'd like an easier way to look at them or, you know, pull them down into my machine and particularly for websites that have lots and lots of them. And so this app is really aimed at, at building a nice experience around that. So once we're in the application, you can see we've got a, a large amount of space to go and do things. We'll start off by adding something. Um, and you can see we we have a variety of different things. We can go off and use specific APIs for specific websites like Tumblr, or if it's a web page, we'll just do some HTML scraping to try and pull the images out of that web page. So we'll say in here, we'll go and add that website. It will now connect to it, and this is a, a great website for images about um, server rooms and servers and hardware, which is really all kind of cool stuff there. And so if we go and tap on it now it's brought it down um, it will have all these awesome images available to us and from here we can actually go off double tap on image to get a full screen view of it at this point it's not pulling any of the images down it's actually um, only showing us the images as we need them so you'll like, note there's a little, sometimes be a bit of lag between browsing through the images but for the most part it's fairly quick around that what we could do now is maybe there's a couple we really like so we'll be able to go through and select those and we could say to either cache them locally, so the application will be able to load them faster next time. Or we could say, you know, these are really nice ones. Let's go download these, and we'll go put these on my desktop. And so it will now go and queue off the downloads for that. We'd also have the ability, if we unselect all of these, to, or rather to go in here and select all of them. Or if we just select one of them, you'll see we have the ability to also take an image use it as our lock screen image on Windows, or set it as a count or profile picture as well. Uh, once we go back here, actually let's go just kick off a few more images, and we'll say download, download to the desktop. If we go back here, you'll see that the downloads, we have a download queue, so you can see exactly what's downloading. What is great with this is this uses the background download task so even if the application is closed it will continue these downloads in the background uh, without abusing CPU and RAM on the machine once we're done with that uh, we could go in here we could say you know refresh if it's something like this site that updates every couple of days or we could go and pin this to our desktop or create a uh, or copy the URL out of this we're also able to do all the sort of things you'd want from a Windows 8 application so we can go in here and say share that and we'll be able to share that off to say uh, the mail application and then in this case it will actually go off and put a copy of that image into the mail or load up a preview with it so that you're able to easily share that image out um, I think this is a pretty useful little tool specifically for developers and designers and I hope you find this uh, something that you can use in the future too